here comes Dad. Here comes Dad. <laughs> Hey gang, Brian Martin, the boss man, coming at you from Riverdale, California, and I'm stoked to be here today. I'm here with Mike, his dad, Melvin, and Mitch of Magini Hay Hauling, and many of you know, these guys have kind of a notorious reputation out on the West Coast, <laughs> in a good way, <laughs> but really an awesome bunch, uh, big reputation for having some fine looking equipment, some head turning equipment hard-working, fun-loving family. I've been following them for a lot of years. Used to run into you guys at the truck shows back in 05, 06, 07, but we've all kind of went different ways and had different priorities in life the last few years. Thanks for having us out here. It's awesome to come out and see you guys in person, real life. A lot of our customers back in Missouri and people watching on the East Coast, we don't get the opportunity to see your equipment. So this is a way we can take it out on the internet, let everybody see it worldwide. So. I know you guys been in the hay hauling business a while. Tell us, Mike, a little bit about you know how it all started. I mean, you guys got a long reputation here of uh, uh, trucking and uh, the family, yeah. third generation. This guy started it picking up out of the field, roadsiding. Uh huh. Just a bobtail at a time, and grew to a set of doubles, and <laughs> kept growing and growing, and here we are. Running, oh yeah. We're running 23 trucks at one time, and running 100 to 200 loads a week. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Just uh, all, all these two hands right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then, then he come along and look at the mess we got now. <laughs> <laughs> and by that time, it was too late to turn back, so he had to keep going. Yeah. <laughs> well, we had them all lined up this morning. They looked awesome with the chicken lights on, all pulling out. I'm sure that wasn't all the trucks, but it made an awesome video for the folks to enjoy. I mean, kind of what's, what's Magini all about today? You guys strictly hay hauling. I see you got low beds. You're hauling equipment. We're, you staying in California primarily, or? We run a little bit of Nevada, Oregon, mm -hmm. Arizona. Mm -hmm. Diversify a little bit, we run equipment. Mm -hmm. Got four trucks, mm -hmm. running uh, equipment all the time, and then the rest are hauling hay, and we got mm -hmm. one commodity truck. Mm -hmm. And uh, run a little bit of wood chips here and there, but mm -hmm. just mainly hay and equipment. What's, uh, I got a question that's been bothering me ever since we got here. What's up with Mitch and the Kenworth? Like, did you drop him on his head when he was little? <laughs> You know, you gotta have a black sheep of the family. You know, you gotta have that one. Just gotta have something different. So here he is. I'm teasing, brother. They're all cool. Look at the hair. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's following the Magini uh, uh, style. Uh, it looks cool. It looks cool. So uh, another thing that people have been wondering. I mean, you may not know this, but this is this is like a a, a question that's often asked in the circuit. Like everybody tells me that it's not just your trucks like your farm tractors, your lawnmowers, your wheelbarrows, your weed eaters are all yellow with green flames. Is that really true? We paint everything. <laughs> we have barbecue pits that are painted yellow with green flames. It, it, everything is painted, striped, or something's done to it. I like it. We, Magini signature. Yeah. We, we can't leave it alone. <laughs> well, I know uh, we kind of put you on short notice that we were going to drop in on you like this. You've got the old needle nose out. We're going to do a walk around and then 13. Uh, tell me a little bit about that truck. This is not a recent build. This is something you did quite a while back and it's still it's, looking sharp. It started in 98 when I got it mm -hmm. and we built on it little by little every year and I think mm -hmm. we finished it in about 2006. Mm -hmm. We were still running it. Yep, right on. So it's, it's Let's go over there and uh, you can kind of show me all the particulars. Right on. All right, so this is Lucky 13, 98 model, 379 extended hood. What do we got under the hood, 3406E? Yep, 550. Yep. Mm -hmm. 13 speed? 13 speed. 13 speed, California style, single axle. You know, everything back in the Midwest is tandem. East Coast for sure is tandem. Uh, you ought to consider lowering this thing. I mean, it's riding pretty high. I was gonna lower it a little bit, but I don't wanna <laughs> screw up the bumper, you know. <laughs> I know I read several articles about uh, you and the family. You've got a painter that does most of your paint? Yes, it, he, he got killed in a motorcycle accident, oh, but Dale Lisdahl mm -hmm. did all our paint mm -hmm. for 30 years. Mm -hmm. And you take it to him, you could tell him what you want. Mm -hmm. When you pick it up, it's whatever he wanted. Mm -hmm. That's how a painter is. <laughs> but you give him free reign because it works. Yeah, because yeah. he was yeah. like family. That's the, yeah. You just drop it off and he call you when it's done and you don't mm -hmm. know what it's gonna look like. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is this is a, his forte, that's what he yeah. did. He just yeah. did whatever he wanted. Yeah, he must have been like a dang near a full-time employee for you guys. He almost was, you know. He, yeah. yeah, he probably did, I bet he did 
a hundred paint jobs mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, let's walk around the truck. I mean, I'm digging the paint job. The color combination is signature for you guys. Bow tie visor, air cleaner lights. I mean, what's some of your favorite focal points that kind of you put into the truck when it went together so many years ago? Uh, just the big pipes, mm -hmm. the flames, mm -hmm. you know, and then we just started cleaning it up and lowering mm -hmm. it down and mm -hmm. just, I didn't put a whole lot of lights. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just want to keep it clean and run it. You know, and I, I was attention to detail, just like the, the spades and the air cleaner. Oh, yeah. A lot yeah. of people don't even notice uh -huh, that. Uh huh. You know, every little thing has detail that to it. That makes it. And we were flipping through your scrapbook earlier. I mean, this is not a show pony. This is a working oh, truck. Oh, no. It's been stuck in the <laughs> snow, stuck in the mud, and ran off the road. Yeah. You know. And you got to figure this makeover was done over a decade ago, and it's still looking like it is. So I'd say it's, you know, up there. It's one of the prides of the fleet. Tell me a little bit about the old needle nose over here. Uh, my dad wanted an old truck, and uh, we bought this one from Boomer Bear. Uh -huh. It was a short hood. Yeah. And we wanted an extended hood, so we took the hood off, had this hood made. Uh -huh. We extended it 14 yeah. inches longer yeah. than the extended yeah. hood. So it's an extended, extended, extended yes. hood. <laughs> yes, we want to make it unique. Uh -huh. And so we kind of did a little bit of our flavor to it. And, mm -hmm. You know, I ran it for six months mm -hmm. on the road and mm -hmm. drove it around, but good old California won't let you run it no more, so. Right, right. There's something about a needle nose Pete and a small window Peterbilt cab. <laughs> It's yeah. like the world never looked better than looking out those windshields and across that hood. No, when I sit there and drive and I see that <laughs> hood out there, then I get in a regular truck, uh -huh. it doesn't seem the same no yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, where'd my hood go? It's got a gangster look and a gangster feel. Yeah. Uh, very cool truck. And now this one you're probably not running on a regular basis no. anymore. Yeah. No. Well, that's if, if like if Carbon California is listening, like, no, we, we're not running. No, we never Actually, run Actually, we're probably not running either one of these anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, walking down the side of the truck, these wheels without the 10 decorative holes, what's the story on those? I don't even think those are available anymore. Nope, they're just smooth wheels. Everybody uh -huh. asks where we got them and we, you can't get them no more. They're eye-catching, yeah, 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 they're eye-catching. Yeah, and when you extended the hood, you had to extend the cowl down here as well. Yeah, we oh, redid man. the dash. Yeah. Yeah, so the dash was all hand fabricated, I'm saying. All by hand, yeah. painted green, and then we smoked it with a torch mm. and then cleared over it to get uh -huh. that smoke look. Uh huh. Check it out with the extension of the hood. You had to do some pretty radical modifications to the shifter. But as you can see from Melvin racing by at about 110 <laughs> mile an hour, it works. <laughs> it functions. It functions well. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. We put power windows. I put a tunnel uh -huh. through the uh -huh. center uh -huh. and the tunnel carries through the sleeper. No kidding. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that overhead is pretty custom. Coming on back here. Really finished out nice with the deck plate airline box, tank bracket covers, new way air ride. You don't see that too often anymore. Hogue built fenders, the good stuff. Yeah. I like the way you did the, the bus lights, the cab lights everywhere. Yeah. Even on the air cleaners. Yeah, we did everything right here in our shop. Yeah. Just... Yeah. The hand pinstripes there under the window, those always work. The Godfather. That was my dad's nickname when he was young. Uh huh. They call, uh -huh. Everybody call him the Godfather. Uh huh. <laughs> so we just carried it through. You beat us to it, Riverdale Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> That's been that way for I know years. It. I know it. I know it. Man, I dig these old trucks. That vintage iron. That's kind of you and me. That's what we grew up in, riding yeah. shotgun, and uh, it, it brings back a lot of memories. Well, it, you can't get can't get past the sound of it. Mm -hmm. You know, you got a 400 Cummins. Mm -hmm. Just. Big thumping coming. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it, it's, it's unique, you know, it's, uh -huh. it's old school and you, uh -huh. you don't hear that no more. All you hear is the, fount, the fan of a new, new truck. Right. Eight inch smokers, like you said, stainless boxes. Handcuffs for when things go south in a That's hurry. Right. <laughs> That's when you just, when you get pulled over, you just put them on yourself and stick your hands out the window. <laughs> Say, I'm guilty, you caught me. <laughs> Now we got a killer stereo system in it. Oh yeah, you do. Oh show. Yeah, I like the shag. My sister put all that <laughs> shag in there. It's got character. <laughs> and it's what year again? 1962. 62. Well, it's righteous, man. Thanks for cleaning it up for this uh, little flick and uh, we really appreciate it. 
taking the time. I know you all are busy working, you got lots of customers counting on you, so I appreciate you shutting down for a couple of days and having fun with us. Yeah, we need to get cleaned up anyways. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to get them out every Get few the months. dust off yeah, them, get yeah. the smoke, ashes <laughs> off them. All right, old 98 here. What do you say we start with, uh, we'll pop the hood and we'll kind of look at the engine. You guys did this years ago and you were the trendsetters. I mean, the old school pinstripes, fully flamed out on the underside of the hood, just like the top side. Like we didn't just stop at the outside. We brought it under here and a lot of cool touches on and around the engine. Why don't you point some of those out for us? Well, there's a lot of them. I, I put all stainless bolts yep. through the engine uh -huh. and the frame uh -huh. and uh, a lot of laser work. Uh -huh. I got the good times. Yeah. In here, the yeah. fans painted, shrouds painted, both sides, uh -huh. and uh, steel braided lines, just here and there. It's just, I worked on it every weekend. Oh yeah, yeah, and it shows. That, this was my baby. So uh -huh. every every weekend, uh -huh. the family's out here, and we're working on. Me and my dad used to work on this. We we get something new. Uh huh. We'd be working on it on Saturday or Sunday, yeah. and my mom bring us lunch, uh -huh. a twelve pack, <laughs> and we that's what we did in the shop. We just worked on this truck and this, you know. A little bit of elbow grease and yep. 10 years down the road, this is what we got. I'm kind of thinking when you guys got something and it was stock, you never like put it to work in that fashion. You always had to tweak it. <laughs> this truck sat in the shop for two weeks before I ever seen a load. Yeah, yeah. We bought it brand new, Uh huh. put it in the shop. We done tore the suspension out of it uh -huh. and a few other things that the painter out there, uh -huh. everything was getting done at one time. And then two weeks later, mm -hmm. it finally got to pull the load mm -hmm. after it was brand new. <laughs> A lot of chrome work under here. This is all polished out, your intake tee, chrome column, chrome steering box. <laughs> Definitely not an everyday thing uh, for most of us. Uh, the fact you painted the fan blade on both sides of the blade, that's killer, man, that's cool. Now, you don't have a flip kit because they weren't available 10 nope. years ago, uh, but you did put a, uh, airbags on the front, and this doesn't look like anything I've seen. This is kind of a factory setup on certain peats, but was it factory on this one? No. Nope. Yeah, you come out of a salvage yard? Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. We, a matter of fact, all the pieces we f we finally found one, mm -hmm. and then we were missing one piece. We had to make one. I see. To make this kit work, uh -huh. and then we changed the bags to get it to drop. Uh huh. But it's a factory peat air ride from the '70s. Yeah. And then we modified it to go lower. Right. And uh, you don't see them no more. No, no, they weren't real popular, but you guys have made it work for uh, old number 13 here. What's up uh, on the West Coast with the 255 series tires? Like, is that just a personal appearance thing or do you have some advantage? If we're hauling hay, when we're hauling double edge uh -huh. or eight one edge, yeah. it's taller. So with the 255s, get you an inch and a half. Bring your trailer down. Yes. Yeah, okay. So the lower you are, the taller you can go with hay. So when you're hauling lightweight bales, you, you get paid by the bale. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. want to put as many as you can there on. You so the, the 255, it is an appearance thing. Yeah. But also, it helps you get more bales on to right. make you know more buck per load. Yep. So strapless breathers, as you said, the spades and the screens, very cool. Tell me what we got down here. I, I glanced at that and I thought it was a cab light you'd shave, but these are totally one off. Yeah, these are, this is a stainless pipe. Uh huh. And we sliced it and diced it uh -huh. to get the right angle and yep. mount them there. This, I've never seen a set like it. That's, you won't either. <laughs> you got strapless air tanks. That's yeah. something you don't see very often either. Yeah. yeah, and then we got a Magini cut in right here so you can see the Magini oh. on the bottom with a light. Add to the bone, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah. Let's go on around uh, towards the back end here again. Got the bringing the spade accent all the way back here to the fuel tanks with your shutoffs. Yeah. Very cool. I like the freehand stripe down the frame it's a nice touch we got extra got extra plugs because uh -huh. when i built this truck uh -huh. they didn't have leds uh-huh so when you're running 300 lights with no leds <laughs> you can't run them off <laughs> on one, one plug cord, because yeah. they would melt <laughs> so we put extra plugs now with the leds i could do away with them exactly. but they're already here so. yeah pimping ain't easy that's a magini slogan from way back yeah <laughs> Well, let's, uh, let's look over the inside here. You know, we were looking at the truck before we started filming and one of the cheap, cool, simple tricks you guys pulled off uh, well, the padded floorboard. Man, it's so easy, so unique. Well, everybody's wanting to you know, put wood, which is kind of outdated, or stainless, or a painted floor. 
I gotta tell you, I really like this, and it's probably the fastest, lowest cost option of everything. It was carpet before, then, like you said, everybody had yeah. wood. Yeah. And I'm not a fan of wood. Right. Right. So if you see in this inside this truck, there's not a one piece of wood. Yeah, I've gone. either painted it, uh -huh. turned it to chrome, uh -huh. or leather. Uh huh. And so I want to do something different, so uh -huh. we just we put leather, and it's uh -huh. it's pretty comfortable. Yeah. The short uh, shift stick's pretty racy, hot rod looking. Yeah. That works well. Console uh, with your big sound system, your big woof. Yeah, we're running about 3,500 watts with 112. Uh huh. And I got five TVs. Uh -huh. <laughs> even in the door, so if yeah. you're yeah. hanging out at the show or uh -huh. you can sit there and watch TV. Right on. I put one piece windows before they came out with one piece windows. Yeah, like you had to fabricate all that. Yeah. Yeah, and nothing's cooler. I mean, you had quite the reputation for this the first couple of years you showed it. The power open close back window, man, yeah. that is a mega cool idea. It's on air just like the side windows. Yeah. It rolls up and down. Fantastic. Low base seats. Love the painted dash all pinstriped out to match. Love the way the seats, upholstery, floorboard, all the, the flames stitched in them, man, that come out cool. Coming on around to this side of the engine, I mean, you got the firewall cover with the same lights that you got under the bunk. That's very cool. Now this thing was probably born a 475, but you guys have had it tuned to a 550, maybe yes. more. Little, maybe, maybe a little maybe bit more. more. <laughs> it's a monster. And then all the filters mm -hmm. are stainless filters. Uh-huh. All the way around. And I put a 275 watt uh, alternator on it. To power all your lights you had back then. Back then, yeah. now you don't yeah. need it now. Now you can run an 80 amp. <laughs> <laughs> this day and age. Well, man, it's well done. You've got everything just as it should be. I wouldn't change a thing on old 13. I'd leave it just the way it is. It's a, uh, it's classic. People have read about it several times, you know, in different magazines, especially 10.4, uh, being a West Coast magazine. But it's cool to get out here and see it again. We probably haven't seen each other since, gosh, 06, 07. Yeah. Something like that. Either so, Vegas or Reno. Yeah, yeah. Been a long time. I appreciate the invite. I got a ask it looks like the rear tires are kind of juiced up like uh maybe they could break traction if a guy was a little heavy right footed they, they it's possible it's possible <laughs> we could probably make that happen <laughs> let's go back here and uh put the wheels in motion here as they say I gotta tell you, Mike, you've made this trip a lot of fun. I love featuring cool trucks, but even more so, I love featuring cool people, a hardworking family that's dedicated to trucking. You guys have left your mark on California trucking, and in a good way. I mean, I, your name comes up in a lot of conversation, it's always good. That's a testament to you, your dad, your uncle. Thanks for having us out, man. It has been a Thanks walk. for coming. It's you bet. Been, been fun. All right, we'll do it again sometime. You got it. <laughs>